Hello everyone and welcome back to our study of Lesson 9. Today we are looking at Tuesday, Levitical Liberality. Question A asks, how has God combined duty and blessing? For this, let's read from Proverbs chapter 11 verses 24 and 25. There is one who scatters yet increases more, and there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. So here we see that as you give, you will receive. As you water, you will be watered. And I really encourage you, when you finish watching this, go and read Isaiah chapter 58 verses 10 through 12. This chapter is talking about a true fast to the Lord. And it mentions a lot about how we should be giving to other people, how we should clothe other people, how we should be to the hungry, to the suffering, to the poor. And it really, really talks about how you can pour yourself out to others. And I think that works well here because as you pour yourself out, God will pour into you. And he will give you light and he will give you strength from above. So let us remember that a generous soul is made rich. Let us pour ourselves out to God. Let us pour ourselves out to others. I want to read the last note under A. Whenever God's people in any period of the world have cheerfully and willingly carried out his plan in systematic benevolence and in gifts and offerings, they have realized the standing promise that prosperity should attend all their labors just in proportion as they obeyed his requirements. So let us be generous in giving to the Lord. Question B. In making momentary pledges and vows, what must we never forget? For this, I'm going to read Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. When you make a vow to God, do not delay to pay it. For he has no pleasure in fools. Pay what you have vowed. Better not to vow than to vow and not pay. So when we make promises to God, when we make vows to God, let us remember we need to keep those vows. It's better if you did not vow than to vow and break it. The first note under B says, God would have the members of his church consider their obligations to him as binding as their indebtedness to the merchant or the market. Let everyone review his past life and see if any unpaid, unredeemed pledges have been neglected and then make extra exertions to pay the uttermost farthing. For we must all meet and abide the final issue of a tribunal where nothing will stand the test but integrity and veracity. So I pray that God is with you today. I pray that God blesses you today and I will see you again tomorrow.